Welcome to Geography Samachir Syllabus of Tamil Nadu. Class 10 Geography, Unit 6, Physical Geography of Tamil Nadu. The study of one's own region is the first step to become a global citizen. The purpose of studying our local territory is to understand life in our environment. Having learned about various geographical characteristics of our country, in this lesson and those that follow, let us learn about the geography of our state, that is Tamil Nadu. You will get to know about the etymology, history of formation, location, size, physical divisions, rivers, climate, soil, and natural vegetation of Tamil Nadu in this chapter. As per the State's Reorganization Act of 1956, the state boundaries of India were reorganized on, on some linguistic basis, that is, on the basis of language. Tamil Nadu's exquisite physiography and climate makes our state unique in India. It has long and sunny beaches, beautiful waterfalls, hills, forests, and varied flora and fauna, that is, variety of plant life and animal life. Tamil Nadu is one of the 28 states of India located in the southernmost part of the country. It extends from 8 degree 4 minutes north to 13 degree 35 degrees north latitudes. See here this. This is the this is 8 degree 4 minutes north latitude to 13 degree 35 minutes north latitude and from 76 degree 18 minutes east to 80 degree 20 minutes east longitudes and its extremes are in eastern point of Kalimo. The point of Kalimar is here. It is the eastern extremity of Tamil Nadu. Point of Kalimar in western hills of Anaimalai. Then in northern Pulikat Lake. And in south. Cape Comare. That is we call it as Kanyakumari. Cape Comare. These are the four extremities of Tamil Nadu. It covers an area of... 1,30,058 square kilometers and Tamil Nadu is the 11th largest state in India. It covers 4% of the area of our country. Location and size of Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is bounded by Bay of Bengal in the east, Kerala in the west, Andhra Pradesh in the north and Karnataka in the northwest and Indian Ocean in the south. These are the boundaries of Tamil Nadu. Gulf of Mannar and Path Strait separate Tamil Nadu from the island of Sri Lanka, which lies to the southeast of India. And our state has 940 kilometers long of coastline. Thus, the second state with the longer, second longest coastline next to Gujarat. Administrative divisions. Already we have learned that the state of Tamil Nadu had only 13 districts at the time of its formation. After that, the state was reorganized several times for the administrative convenience. At present, there are 38 districts in Tamil Nadu, including the newly created districts such as Kallakuruchi, Tenkasi, Sengalpattu, Ranipet, Tirupattur, and Mailadudurai. And these are the newly formed districts of Tamil Nadu. The administrative divisions of the state are given in the following table. So, include after including Mailadudurai. At present, our state has 38 districts actually. Revenue division 76, 
Talukas 226, Furkas 1127, Revenue Villages 16,564, Municipal Corporations 15, Municipalities 125, Panjait Unions 385, Town Panjayats 561, Village Panjayats 12,618, Lok Sabha Constituencies 39, and Assembly Constituencies 234. The coastal districts of Tamil Nadu. Let us see what are the coastal districts of Tamil Nadu. There are 14 districts that share the coastline, namely Thiruvallur, Chennai, Chengalpattu, Virupuram, Kadalur, Mailadudurai, Thiruvarur, Pudukotai, Ramanadapuram. This is Ramanadapuram. Tutupudi, Trinal Veli, and Kanyakumari. And in this, in today's class, we studied about the introduction part of the physiography of Tamil Nadu, about its location, size, boundaries, latitudinal and longitudinal extent, etc. In the next class, let us learn about the physical divisions of Tamil Nadu in detail. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.